an autistic boy who disappeared this morning has been found dead in a swimming pool. An autistic girl drowning during a party. Holding out hope that little John Burton Jr. had just been hiding. Where her body was found just a couple hours ago. An autistic boy wanders away from home and dies. Each week we update our missing persons list. We update any uh, casualties. And this week we did have a little boy who was killed by a train, 12 years old. I just tried to go along the shore and I went deep. I thought maybe I had her at one point. And then there are the stories where our children beat the odds. I'll cry at a football game. So if you keep asking questions like that, I'll tear up here. There's a lot of emotion with this. There you see Nadia right there as she's being carried out. What a, what a wonderful and happy ending to this. At NAA, we do tend to focus more on the severe side of autism. I know. I know, you're very frustrated. Our autism is seizures, head banging, insomnia, crippling bowel disease, debilitating fear overwhelming sensory dysfunction, pica, and self-injury. It defines human beings, young and old, who are severely impacted, and the families who live in constant prevention and survival mode. The National Autism Association is a parent-run organization. This issue hits home for us. My son has wandered from multiple school settings. Our president at NAA, Wendy Fournier, her daughter is an active wanderer. We know how hard it is to keep our kids safe. There's a huge lack of resources. It's why NAA has created safety initiatives like the Big Red Safety Box, our FOUND program, the AWARE collaboration, and AutismSafety.org. Autism parents are strong. We're very dedicated. Good Scooby Doo. All right. Good job. Uh, okay. What? I don't know what that means. This means something. Get out. You gonna do a little bit more? Come on. Wow. Let me do the top part. You know, there's so little resources for these families and what do you do when you live next to a pond and your child is constantly trying to get to the pond? We tell first responders to search water first. Uh, a lot of times our kids will not respond to verbal commands. They won't respond to their name. They won't respond to stop. So you have to just get in there and get them. Stay there, stay there, Ryan, stay there. Stay there you look at Ryan's story, you look at the video, you see a happy ending. You also have to look at that video and imagine if that person wasn't there with Ryan. Listen to Ryan's cries and know for so many children who have died this way without even the ability to cry out for help. We have to learn from those children, honor their stories, make sure that it doesn't happen to other children. These deaths are preventable.